In this video, you'll learn about all skills training locations in Roblox Anime Simulator. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating Anime Simulator content. Alright, let's jump right into it. In Roblox Anime Simulator, training your skills is essential to progress in the game, and each skill has specific locations across the first and second worlds. Here is the map of all the training areas in the first world. You can navigate through all the training areas for strength, defense, energy, speed, and jump skills. Let's start with jump skill training. The first location you'll head to is the trampoline, which is near the spirit tree. After reaching the tree, go straight toward the green trees to find it. This is where you can begin training your jump skill. Moving on to speed skill training, the first location to train is the treadmill, which is located straight from the strength training area. Another important location for jump and speed training is inside the spaceship. Follow my lead closely to get to the spaceship. You need 10,000 for both speed and jump to train yourself here. Now, we'll see more advanced speed and jump training locations in the second world. Once your speed reaches 1 million, you can visit the spaceship in this new world. Follow my lead closely to get to the spaceship. Get inside, and you'll find spots to train both jump and speed. For strength training in the first world, your first stop is just outside this building, requiring only 100 strength to start. Now, follow me to the second strength training location. As you grow stronger, head inside the gym, which demands 10,000 strength for training. Next, go to the beach area where the training requirement increases to 100 to race strength. Following this, you'll find Meteor near the bridge, which requires 1 million strength. For even higher strength training, you'll need to visit Lookout Island, where the requirement jumps to 10M strength. The next area for strength training is in the arena, which requires 100 million strength. Follow my lead closely to get there. For those seeking even more advanced training, Greytree Island is the next destination, requiring 1 billion strength, where you can train near the Excalibur. Now follow me to the Demon's location for strength training, and it requires 10B strength for training there. The last strength training area in the first world is located above the waterfall, where you'll find the road roller, requiring 100B strength. Follow me closely to get to the location of road roller to train yourself. In the second world, you'll continue your strength training at the dual arena, where you need 1 trillion strength. Follow me to the dual arena behind the shop. Be 
beyond that, locations like Destruction Mountain and Grand Gate demand 100T and 1QD strength for training. Follow me closely to locate them respectively. Next, head to Heaven's Tower, located in the middle of the sea. This area requires 100 QD strength to access for training. Once there, proceed to the top of the tower to begin your strength training session. The next strength training location is the Inner World. To access it, you'll need to meet the Reaper NPC who will teleport you there. The inner world requires 100 QN strength for training. Follow my lead closely to reach the Reaper's location first. Once you've met the Reaper, you can then proceed to the inner world for your strength training. The next area is Hermit Island, which requires 1 QN strength. Follow me to get there. Once here, get inside the Kame House to train yourself. For defense skill training, your first stop is the hospital which requires 100 defense. Follow me to get to the hospital. The next location is the abandoned ship, where you'll need 10,000 defense. Follow my lead from the first spawn point to locate the ship. Now, the third defense training spot requires 100,000 defense, and it is in the pirate ship. Follow my lead from the spawn point to locate the ship along the coast of Desert Island. As you progress, the Grey Trees Island features a training spot at the enemy base, demanding 1 million defense. Next, we'll reach Volcano Island, which requires 10 million defense and offers a 500x multiplier. Now follow me to the next area, which requires 100 meters defense and has a 1000 times multiplier. This next area is the planet and requires 1 billion defense and has a 2,500 times multiplier. Follow me to get there. Further on, head to the Time Chamber building, which offers training for 10B defense and has a 5,000 by multiplier. Now the final location is the Colossal Statue behind the Volcanic Island and it requires 100B defense and provides a 10,000x multiplier. Follow me to get to this location in the first world. Now we'll go on to find training locations in the second world. Follow me to the Gathering Shrine. 
This area requires 1 trillion defense and has a 25,000 multiplier. Now, follow me to the Monkey King's aura in the Greenland. It requires 100T defense and has a 100K multiplier. The next training area is in the Grand Arena and requires 1QD defense. Follow me closely to get there. Next, for more defense training, head to the cold region, known as White Haze. This area requires 100 QD defense to enter. Once inside, you'll benefit from a 1 million multiplier for your training. Now, follow me to the Time Machine's location for further training, and it requires one QN defense and has a 2.5M multiplier. The final defense training area is the Floating Castle, which requires 100 Q1 defense to access. Follow my lead to reach the training zone. Once here, head to the top of the castle to begin training. This area offers a huge 10 million multiplier for your defense training. Finally, for energy training, the first location is the Spirit Tree, just outside the spawn point, which requires 100 energy. The next training area is the Library, and it requires 10k energy. Follow me to get there. The next energy training spot is hidden behind the Waterfall of Truth, where you'll need 100,000 energy. Follow my lead to get to the Waterfall of Truth. Now head outside and find another location known as Shogun Castle, and it requires 1 million energy. Now, follow me to the Fox Demon statue inside the cave on Desert Island. It requires 10 million energy for training. The next area is Cherry Blossom Forest on the mainland, which requires 100 million energy. Follow me to get there. Proceeding further, we'll go to the Sage Meditation Training Spot will require 1 billion energy. The next energy training area is on the Volcanic Island. Follow me to get there. Once here, enter this ring to witness the Malevolent Shrine, and it requires 10B energy. The next area requires 100B energy, and it is on a coffin boat on the coast of the Grey Island. Follow my lead to locate the boat. In the second world, continue your training at the coffee shop, where one terawatt energy is required. Follow me to the coffee shop in the mainland area. The next location is also on the mainland, and it is on the top of the God's Tree. It requires 100 terawatt hours of energy.
Now, for more energy training, head to the Eternal Moon. This area requires 1 QD energy to access and has a 250k multiplier. The next energy training zone is the Battleship, which requires 100 QD energy to enter. Follow my directions carefully to locate the battleship, positioned between the mainland and Boss Arena Island. This training area provides a 1M multiplier for energy training. Next, head to the High Tower for your energy training. This area requires 1Q1 energy to access and offers a 2.5M multiplier for your training. The final energy training area in the second world is the Science Outpost Tower, which requires 100 Q1 energy to access. This zone offers a massive 10 million multiplier for your training. Follow my lead to reach the top of the outpost and begin your session. That's how you can easily locate training zones and train each skill across both worlds in Roblox Anime Simulator. Mm -hmm.